So what will essentially change going forward in the prevailing financial environment is that national housing will not be undertaking the multiple mass construction projects that previously have contributed to an unmanageable accumulation of government debt and transfers. For the time being, this role has fallen to Hope Inc., which is a 100% government-owned company that is expected to completely self-finance with only initial bridging financing provided by government. But both Hope and National Housing will assist and complement each other as this government continues to roll out its 10,000 housing program. National Housing will develop a 30-year right-to-own policy, which will see persons who can't easily access mortgages from financial institutions or pay high market rents, as we see now in this country and across the globe, but pay very affordable rents until they're able to purchase the rental homes and apartments. So the 30-year policy will allow persons as their rent, the, the rent that they're paying will be seen as an injection of capital until they're able to own their own homes. 